J.L. Morgan's presentation on wellness tourism received the judges' nod of approval. The Signal Hill Secondary 6 to form student shared three unique projects tourists can enjoy in Tobago. One included a retreat in Bloody Bay. The retreat will include meditative mud baths followed by wellness massages. Visitors can then trek along the Gilpin Trail in the rainforest and take a refreshing dip in one of the nearby waterfalls. These activities will allow visitors to relax. Mud packs can also be sold to visitors for their self-care regimens. Scarborough Secondary Sahila Chapman also presented on wellness tourism and copped the second spot. She proposed the establishment of herbal camps in Palatuve. Where guests can stay. While there, guests will be encouraged to learn more about our island's alternative medicine market. They will be introduced to our fever grass and many other herbal and medicinal plants. They will learn how to use them and their use for their own healing and the preservation of their lives, friends, and even their loved ones. And Bishop High School's Janae Gray secured third place with her presentation on accessibility for differently abled tourists. Tourism organizations and businesses should provide comprehensive accessibility information on their websites and promotional materials. This includes details about wheelchair accessibility, availability of braille materials, and audio guides. Accessible technology solutions can significantly improve the overall travel experience for the disabled and thus the profitability of the country's tourism. The debaters were also given a mystery question where winner J.L. Morgan's question focused on social media. She suggested the use of ambassadors and marketing focused on young tourists. The new junior tourism secretary will represent Tobago at the Caribbean Tourism Organization's Youth Congress in Turks and Caicos in October. Carisia Douglas, TTT News.